Hello and welcome to the science behind Rocket League. Where we have teacher Matt here yeah, to I'm, teach us I'm, how to I maths. how I'm to numbers. science and how to maths. I can science. So me, me and Dan science. here. Me and Dan here are the pupils. So yeah. preach what you teach and shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, to work out the force on an object going down, you need the mass of a minivan. So what's this, what's this? Oh, we're doing a minivan. Doing a minivan. Okay, you need to explain what you're doing, mate. Minivan. Come on, you need to be a good teacher. I could Google yeah. the average weight of a minivan. And I yeah. couldn't Google the average weight of a slightly lower than average sports car because it's Miss not Bishy. a name. And the average weight Bishy. of a minivan is rounded because I can bother to do decimals. 1,900 kilograms. So that's okay, 1,900 kilograms. How heavy is that? How heavy that is in bags of oranges? Um, I'm just going to Google this one second. Average weight. Yeah, no, I need to know that. You like, need that's, to know, yeah, that's... weight of yeah. a bag of oranges. Okay. Yep. I spelled average wrong. One second. Okay, this is nothing. I'm be a to, oh, how much is your average orange weigh? Here we go. Yeah. Uh, not a clementine, but a proper orange. <laughs> yeah, yeah. About yeah. 120 grams. Okay. All right, let's probably say five of them in a packet. Okay, so that's, that's 120 grams times five. How many is that? I'm really bad at numbers. That's that's oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> that's 600. <laughs> that's 600. Yeah. Right. And to get that's that's like that's like 2,000 bags of oranges. Okay, now I understand. Okay. Dan, is there a measurement you'd like to yeah, yeah. understand it for? Anything that I'd like to understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, is, there, is there like a measurement that you oh, understand? Oh, wait, it's more than that. It's like 2,500 oh, uh, bags of oranges. So I, I, have, I, I have done everything internally by bags of oranges. Yeah, yeah. So how many say? 2,500? 2,500 bags of oranges. Okay, yeah. now I can imagine that. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I typically do everything by my thumb. Okay, okay, so, we're not uh... doing that. <laughs> okay, right. Once you work on the mass, you've got uh, to times it by <laughs> exactly. acceleration. And to work this out, we went and looked at it. Just, just literally looked at it and yeah. guessed. So it jumps about to five point two five meters in one second. That's five point yeah. two five meters. Pretty damn second. quick. I can't do that. No, you can't. That's that is that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone can jump five point two five meters. Ah, you said really yeah. Yeah. I mean, tried. if he concentrated and just kind of he's got put his mind thighs. to it. Yeah. yeah. Like, have you seen them? Yeah. They could crush a melon. Yeah, he do, he's going to crush a melon. Five point two five meters is in terms of oranges, or do we not bother with that? <laughs> I mean, if you want to, mate. Yeah, I don't really on. want to because I don't. No, I'm go on then. What's the average height of? <laughs> You've thrown down the gauntlet now. <laughs> average height of an orange. Yeah. Well, that's an orange tree. We don't want that. No, that's that's, that's way too high. <laughs> okay, Unless you want to do an orange oh, tree, minus an orange. Yeah, yeah, orange, orange fruit. Yep. Uh. Uh, this is doing yeah. it, telling me all in terms of orange trees. I'm going to guess. How much is about that? That's about 10 centimetres, maybe? You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just making yeah, yeah, an orange yeah, yeah. shape in my hand, right? <laughs> okay. That's about 10 centimetres. So if you get that, it's 5.25 metres. That's a lot of oranges. There's a lot of oranges, right? Yeah, a lot of them. A lot cool. of oranges. Yeah. I can imagine a lot of oranges. So once you go how high you jump, you need to, or how fast you jump, you need to go how high you jump, which things is in one second, it was 5.25 metres. Uh, you times everything together, and you you find a calculator because you can't do this in your head this is way too hard so you got 1900 wait that was yeah. that was the wrong number I typed in 2500 oranges well, yeah, yeah so you type in your 2500 oranges bags of oranges got to, yeah. got to be bags of oranges yeah and you got to try and make them so they're all the same height or it just doesn't yeah. work so you got your 1900 and then you, you times it by the acceleration <laughs> times gravity gravity being 9.8 yeah. as everyone knows Come on, yeah. everyone's... Oh, well, sure. I just didn't even bother to explain that earlier. Everyone knows that. Can't everyone do that in terms that. of um, oranges, because it's... it's <laughs> cost. Yeah, can't do that. And that's how they found out about it. Yeah, the they use oranges, too. definitely. Yeah. Uh, turns out by acceleration, which is 5.25 plus 9.8, which is something. That is right. 15, approximately. I'm rounding. 15. 15 yeah. oranges? Yeah. So, not oranges. No, okay. this, this is this is something completely different to oranges now. What is it? It's, it's, it doesn't matter. It literally that doesn't matter. <laughs> You might be teaching us here. It's the acceleration yeah. plus the gravity. Because I googled okay, some go. formulas okay. and that's what it yeah. told me. Because I need, yeah, you need to explain this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, how are we going to note this down? Well, you go on this website that's called. Imagine you're a teacher, man. Okay, right. Like, what we know. do is you go on this website called schoolforchampions.com <laughs> and then you find the upwards acceleration formula on there. I and am a it's champion. Force equals mass times acceleration plus gravity times displacement. Displacement? Displacement, as in distance travelled upwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you times it by the displacement. Uh, so yeah. I, I can't remember what it was. 5.25. Yeah. And you get an absurdly large number, yeah. which is about 150,000 newtons, which I don't know what it is in terms of oranges. <laughs> so what does that mean? Does that mean like... It means if you jumped in Rocket League, your yeah. car would implode, basically. 
So what would, like what? As in, is it reached the top or when it hits the floor? As soon as, soon as it takes off, it would just basically destroy itself. Well, because it's moving too fast. Because there's too much force on the wheels. Us. It would, it would <laughs> just, it would probably leave a hole in the ground, is what I'd imagine. Well, so they basically just make a crater. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty yeah. sick. Yeah, and in terms of so, double jump, that's pretty much yeah. impossible as well. Well, I mean, no, 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 that can make sense if there was like air, air like things, air like vents. If you managed to get to the point where you could make your car jump five point two five meters in one second. Yeah, and then and then <laughs> the, they do it again, pushing down on nothing. <laughs> yeah, with air. I'm just you thinking, you'd Couldn't have to have a lot we... of compressed air in a, in a minivan, and then I'm it would probably explode. That. Couldn't we weaponize this? <laughs> Instead of are we shooting still talking people, about oranges? No, no, <laughs> no, no. no. Two thousand five hundred oranges. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we <laughs> put so much pressure, they explode. Yeah, exactly. But what I mean is, couldn't you drive at someone and then just implode on them? <laughs> Surely the forces, yeah, yeah, would you could destroy do that. them. But it would be a lot easier just to like put a bomb in the car. I yeah. think that's. Been but done it wouldn't before, be quite so. as destructive, <laughs> I don't think, because an implosion's more destructive. Surely. Well, it yeah, depends how sense. big of a bomb it is. If you fit it outfitted, <laughs> you know that that level in GTA where you how big go is an orange? Take the, um, you got to go take the um, servers in the back of those minivans. If you replace the servers with bombs, just a huge bomb, then, yeah. then there you go. If you just fill the entire back of the minivan, that would probably be a larger explosion. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know why we're discussing this. Cause... You're, you're, you're the teacher. You're the teacher. Yeah. Yeah. No. We're, we're understand. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So yeah, it would, it would basically d- destroy itself. All right. Yeah. Next. Next equation, please. Uh, that's pretty much it. All the other ones are, are impossible. All right. Okay. So, how fast would you have to travel to like go on a wall? Uh, like, how well, fast you can do that you... anyway in real life. So, what drive a wall? Yeah, sure you can. Uh, you just have to go fast. Quite fast. How fast? I have no idea. I <laughs> literally no idea. This is you're going to be the teacher. Maybe would you like to Google? Area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I can just cut out the bits where you don't Google it. This so it will it take clever. hours. Assume right. you could get traction against the wall. Walk or run up at any speed. It's true. So maybe the tires are really, yeah, really yeah. grippy. All you need, you can do it however you like. You just need like um super traction. Yeah, you know, you've got the thingies you got like gecko hands where they can like stick the glass. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much that. You just cut you know, off loads and loads of gecko hands and stick them at the bottom of your wheels. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know um the little little button in the cars that says traction control. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> you turn that up to full. Yeah, yeah. And then it deploys the gecko <laughs> hands. Yeah, and then yeah. you can go on anything. Except the roof. Yeah. The car's slightly too heavy to stick to the roof because the Gecko uh, yeah, is not strong enough. Well, I mean, it's, you can't stick to the roof. There's no tires there. Yeah. Is, is there, like, other modes then? Does that explain why you were able to, like, soar as high as you are? Like, like change it to, to Flying Squirrel and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Gecko mode and the rocket boost thing turns you into an eagle mode I where see. you grow uh, invisible wings and then just glide all right, around. I've, I've got a question for you, sir. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, how fast would you have to go to crash into another vehicle to make it explode? Um, you judging do that by the game. huge amount of compressed air that's yeah. in all the cars, probably not very fast. Just like, I don't know, breathing on them might explode them. I mean, you have to go quite fast. You have to get like, the boost going. Yeah, yeah, but it's just, yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should have come prepared. I gave yeah, you yeah, hard but this is just yeah. this one. This is one you cannot work out. You cannot work out how fast <laughs> you need to go to make an imaginary car explode. Hang on. Speed. Needed. See, the thing is, we've thrown down a gauntlet now, and I'm Explode. hoping one person will watch this and just Any be like, man. "No, you can fucking work out how fast an imaginary car will go yeah. to explode, and then they'll do it, and then we'll end up yeah, with an amazing we'll post." Yeah, another video. <laughs> right, the answer is quite fast. Yeah, quite, quite fast. fast. Like more Should than I ten. Should just say an hour. arbitrary number? Yeah, go for it. About 100 meters per second. Plus or minus, like, like eight minutes per really, second. That's really fast. It is really, really fast. That's, like, really, really fast. Yeah, but fast. these cars are massive, so... Um, they are quite massive. It looks like you go faster than you are. All right, how, have you worked out how heavy the ball is? Uh, Quite light, because it's made of, like, air and shit, because it bounces oh, right. around all over the place. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah. So, that, that, I mean, that, that's not really a question. It's like a, it's how, like a how football. Hit it. Cause I, could, I could probably hit that ball and make it move. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It, it air. Yeah, imagine, like, pushing a ball around in water. It's like that. You got any questions down while I think of more? Uh... Have we worked out the size of the arena? That's a point, yeah. In terms of oranges? <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a fuck ton of oranges. Yeah. Indeed. Let's say it's the average size of a football pitch. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, size. 100 yards. How many is that in metres? <laughs> 100 yards in metres is 91 metres. 91. And if an orange was 10 centimetres, that is 9,100 <laughs> oranges. 
That's a, that's a lot of oranges. Per Rocket League football pitch. Per one. There's a lot of them. There's at least six. That's Yeah, yeah. But they're all about the same size. Is it that one that's yeah, slightly smaller? That one's slightly smaller, yeah. That's probably like... Fuck that one. That's probably like five oranges. Yeah, that's about five oranges, yeah. It's very small. Is that, is that your question, Dan? Is that the... In that yeah. one, the card's actually I thought, shrink, I, thought, I thought you were going to like, you know, like... In, in, like uh, that was the start of a question. No, no that was that was just genuinely that was, that a question. Was really, really, uh, really yeah. want to know how large a Rocket League football pitch is. Yeah, just to get a scale. Again, I do everything in terms of my thumb, so it's that just makes sense, yeah. I can but compare how, how that to an orange is, is now. Is it the entire of your thumb? Like, to well, your I mean, it depends how far away you are. I mean, just perspective. You could just put exactly. So I just like oh, put it up, true. and I'm like, oh, the Eiffel Tower is as big as my thumb. Sweet. I could scale that thing. All right, so you can break that hard, yeah, because you can go from like full speed to nothing. Well, you can do that anyway, but like. Like, which How many G's you? would that be? Like, uh, well, can I, you know, give it like a, a kind of a kind of guess? I mean, you're going up, say, say max speed is 100 miles an hour, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you go from 100 miles an hour to zero in like one second, if that. G force generated while breaking. That's about G force rock. That's got to be like some serious G's. Equation I, t- I asked the tough questions here. I prefer Dan's question. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was a matter of scale. Yeah. Uh, so now then, you can you can while well, we find out this, you can think of a hard question. Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, it's not as easy as I thought it would be to work out. What? Oh, Jeez. Yeah. It has static rear axle load as part of the equation. Okay, here we go. I found it. If you're decelerating at 100 meters per second, pretty much. Yeah. And times 9.8. The braking force required of the car is <laughs> 186,000 newtons, which is even more than the force required to make it take off. So I think the 100 okay. meters per second is slightly, uh, slightly too much. <laughs> How far is now? This is taking out to 20 meters. Apparently, per according to this, you, you you wouldn't necessarily die. It'd just be very rare to survive. <laughs> yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Because the danger of stopping you quickly actually comes from the impact of what is stopping you. Oh, yeah. Mm. Your, your organs may become impaled by broken bones, though. That's the... That wouldn't be too good, to be honest. Yeah. And the G-force of... Well, let's uh, be honest, we're in some kind stop. of post-apocalyptic society. People probably don't care about that. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you're already playing a death sport. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Assuming no major organ was impaled, you could theoretically survive. Yeah. Yay! Think of a smashing, uh, think of smashing a jar full of vegetables filled with liquid, and smashing the smashing the jar shatters. You will notice many of the vegetables were still whole. The ones around the glass are uh, perforated and damaged. When you say vegetables, so you mean oranges, right? Yeah, so oranges in a jar. Yes, you got an orange jar. You smash it. The ones on the edge will get impaled by your bones. Yeah, yeah. So and, all your uh, un- unvital organs, like the 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 cushioning ones you've got. Yeah, yeah. Are uh, the internal airbags? So you might survive. Yeah, it's possible. So that's, that's a good one. Dan, you got another one? Say I'm no, wondering... <laughs> Dan, yeah. <say> no. <laughs> I mean, I do have a question. I'm sorry. But okay. um, I'm wondering, what potentially would the cars be fueled by? This is true. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> Everything you is magic. You should have said that about the other answers. <laughs> I, I'd what imagine the, what, it would be some kind magic? of just regular fuel with well, rockets petrol? and lots Gasoline. of compressed air. I mean, I want the rocket that, to go that fast. The rockets would obviously need like jet fuel, right? Or they're really light, but they're not really light because we work that out. Yeah, right. like cars. Yeah. So surely it must be like jet fuel, which would make sense why they explode quite easily because <laughs> jet fuel is fucking combustible. Yeah, yeah. And they're gonna get melted by steel beams. And the cars will get melted <laughs> by jet fuel, and uh, yeah, you have bad times, and then and then, then the calamities. So that makes sense. I think jet fuel. I think that makes the most. Well, sense. yeah, it's got to be jet fuel. It's got to be compressed air as well because when you jump, it's like uh, yeah. Well, it's hydraulics, isn't yes, it? Yes, blossom springs. But Except you just explode. Except it would break Boom. itself, yeah. <laughs> Unless it's made out of some kind of futuristic super absorption stuff. But I don't think so. I, I just don't think so. How are we picking up the boost? How does that work? What's this thing on the ground that we're picking up? <laughs> that is the only way to explain that is magic. Yeah. Unless, no, like, egg, unless maybe, egg right? Technology. It may be. You know, in like Formula One, you've got pit stops, right? Yeah. As you're driving over the boost, like a little dude pops out as you're like over the top of it, and like <laughs> quickly you. inserts some more like compressed air into the compressed air holders. Well, that's like nitrous, isn't it? It's like picking up nitrous. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So there's a little dude who pops up and he goes, just shoves it right up in there. And or then... they're like air vents. Yeah. And they're piping nitrous in, and you just suck them up as you go over. Yeah, that's yeah, that might work. That makes kind of sense. Yeah, it's like a big vacuum like... cleaner on the bottom of your car. Yeah. 
that only activates when you go over them. Yeah, no, I, I think that kind of half makes sense. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Also, I want to know how does a lawnmower work as a boost? It doesn't. That's that's just cosmetic. <laughs> it's like bubbles. it's like an illusion. Oh, okay. So that's all. That's all. It's like, like you know, you can color mirrors. fireworks. It's a bit uh, like that. You yeah. just color in the rocket boost. What <laughs> grass? Colored. Yeah, grass colors. Yeah. Making it grass. But by grass cut, I mean actual grass. Yeah, well, no, they colour a little bit to make it look like grass, but the rest of it colours it see through. I mean, some bits are brown as well. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, and grass cut, whatever, well, yeah. And the stick bit. And the, um, and the sound is just like a big stereo in the back, like a subwoofer. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's uh, Alright, I can't think of any others. Uh, why don't the eggs crack when they jump up and down? <laughs> They're really, really hard boiled <laughs> eggs. They're like so well, that, so boiled yeah. that they, they just don't break at all. I mean, the answer to that is because they're genetically modified. Exactly. Oh, they have thicker shells. They're, they're overall more hardy. <laughs> they're really thick we need shells. Them as slaves, they, just, they just don't so... show emotions at all. <laughs> we need them as slaves. So they do show emotions. They go wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's because they've been they've been like they've been like what you call it uh, hypnotized to doing that. Well, by the eggy royal family. By the eggy royal family, they've got to please them. Yeah, bastards. Yeah, exactly. They're just dicks, bastards. really, aren't they? I can't wait for the sequel to come up this game where it's like a um, Rocket League 2 like it's, like a, it's, it's a like first, first person, person shooter. shooter where you're in the car and you got to go take out the Yankee Royal family yeah no that makes sense yeah. it's all on rails though so it's shit oh yeah it's like House of the Dead but for the modern yeah. era but you're in a car yeah, yeah. alright well I, I don't think there's anything else we can really add to that yeah. so mm. well done Matt thank you for that class yeah that's I've great. learned a lot yeah I've learned a lot as well a lot about oranges yeah more than I used to know about much oranges, about actually. my own farm besides what I've done with it um oh. Okay. Yep, that yeah. just been sticking out his arse the entire time. Oh, God! That's what we're joking at, but we're trying to say. No, I'm not yeah, I, 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 I did already.